Hey everybody, Group. we're ready for some folk horror? Yes! Yeah. I'm always ready for some folk horror. Late Late Horror Show. Uh, I'm Dino, that's Ted. I speak for him most of the time. That's alright, you can speak for me. <laughs> but um, yeah, hey, this week we're going old school again. Uh, it, it kind of a hammer feel to it. But, oh yeah. Uh, Blood on Satan's Claw. I love 1971. This movie. One of my favorite movies. Yeah, I remember this as a kid. Well, see, I didn't yeah, see it as a kid. Kind of as a kid because I, I never caught there's this a, one. There's a line in here where I, I, I'm watching the movie, okay, and the the one dude, I think he's a teenager, or maybe yeah. he's a guy, teenager. Yeah, uh, runs up through the woods and goes, "They caught me in the woodshed. Caught me in the woodshed," and, and runs away. And me and my uncle. For years, even even now to this day, we would just blurt out, cut him in the woodshed, not remembering where it was from until I rewatched it again. And I go, when that, I've scene, seen came, this. When that scene came up, I go, holy shit. Oh, yeah, I've seen it. And, okay. and I remember it. I mean, this movie stands out. Oh, I love it. I mean, this is... It didn't I think stand were, out when it came out, but no, I mean, we you love were, it now. You were talking, uh, it's kind of the trio of... Um, of folk horror for the longest yeah. time, it was this Wicker Man and Witchfinder General, Vincent Price, all uh, all British produced films, mm -hmm. and that was from like, this point out. I'll let Ted talk a little bit here because oh, thanks. He he knows I know my shit a lot more than me with the folk <laughs> horror trilogy, trilogy yeah. which I, I love dearly. I love all three of those films dearly. Yeah. If you haven't you haven't seen Witchfinder General, Wicker Man. Hey, and it's up I there, got man. You, I love I, that movie. I had to introduce you to that one, too. And this one is another great... I mean, nothing. Not even near Wicker Man. No, but, no. Wicker Man is the king of all of them. Yeah. And, but, and I mean, it's funny that the lead in here, the the uh, who, the magistrate... The, the judge? judge uh, Patrick uh, Weimark. Was almost played by both Peter Cushing and Christopher Lee, but too much money. Yeah, yeah Peter you Cushing... Know. This is the period of time. Christopher Lee or Peter Cushing, but yeah. This is the period of time when Peter Cushing's wife, uh, her health was declining, and so there, there's even a couple of Hammer movies where, um, for instance, Blood from the Mummy's Tomb, which is a cool uh, Hammer film. Mm. Um, Hammer time. Cushing filmed like a day or two's worth of footage. Yeah. His, his wife, I don't, I don't think she had passed, but got very deathly ill, and he had to leave the picture. And then Andrew Kier who was in Quatermass in the Pit and a bunch of other stuff. Yep. He took over. But it would be awesome just, you know, when you watch that movie, you think, oh, that could have been a Peter Cushing movie. Yeah. And that would have been kick-ass. Or Christopher Lee. His asking price was a little high then. Mm -hmm. He was, you know, he had a higher stature, higher asking price. Yeah, yeah. Um, he would have been good. But you know what? Hmm. I mean, Peter Cushing, I would have taken him in a second. I don't think this would have been great for Christopher Lee. If I can't get Peter Cushing, I really like Patrick Weimark in this. He's, do you? I, I mean, do. I guess I do too. But I, I, I like mean, him in this. It's I. He, he's the ti it's the typical role for a, a husky. Mm -hmm. I guess you can call him magistrate of and, the day with you know, power. Considering what he does at the end, you know, poor little Peter Cushing. He's frail and skeletal, and yeah. you need a you need a guy like me <laughs> with some heft <laughs> to, to jump down. At, no, yeah. Oh man, is that a gangster of an ending? Oh it, yeah, and we'll get to it. <laughs> yes. My God, Jesus Christ! But, uh, but um, no, no, he he, he plays the role, and he died soon after making right. of this film. Oh, and it's also which, nice to know that he's sad, completely but... soused. He was a drunk, <laughs> and he drank himself to death, unfortunately. So he, he know was that going into watching the movie, drunk <laughs> the entire time. But, but I mean, he could, he did it. Oh yeah! Like even the part where he smacks Peter, he really belted him. Right, right. <laughs> he gave him a good him smack up. across the face. But yeah. he's completely sauced the whole time. <laughs> I mean, anybody who was making this movie said, you know, but, but he, you know, he performed. He was yeah. just, you know, one of those guys that, yeah, he was drunk. Performed and uh, cut, and then you go sit back. I go to my. <laughs> But you know, hey, that's no, is. some people are functional alcoholics like that and can do it. And yeah, no, I I agree with you. I mean, he, he does play the part well. I mean, mm -hmm. it, you know, if if you look in a lot of these, er, this era, you know, the, these kind of movies, it, it, there's always a role like, you know, Peter Weimark, and, yeah, and, and, heavy, yeah, <laughs> and, 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 and he has that bravado. You know, he does. I, he doesn't care that he's. Fat now that I've seen him or whatever, and seen this he's movie. got power. Yes. And he's because he's and a it's what he needs. But you know, and, and yeah, 
And I would love to see Peter mm. Cushing in, in, well, shit, I'd love to see him in every movie. But, yeah, now that I think about this film, maybe it's better that, you know, he didn't. I think they even, you know, thought about Donald Pleasance for a while, who was, yeah, another you know, one. doing a lot of these kinds of movies. Yeah. So, backstory on the blood on Satan's Claw. Oh, and I brought to share my collection. Um, I'd like to get yeah some video yeah up close of it. But up close. It, right. it's, it's, this was the original. Now this hasn't been released on Blu-ray here in the United States. Yeah, uh, but you can get it though. This was the original one from Odeon Entertainment. Got this from the UK. Yeah. Oh, you know I, what? I'm I just. Should, what are you I, should, doing? I should sit up, stand up, and, and oh, you're gonna. Show, here, give me. You gonna do it? Yeah, I'm gonna show. Thank it. you, Holmes. So there's the video. I'm talking right about it. now, that's the one I've had for years. Um, region free, you can still get this. But see the beautiful yes the, yes the, the font is just beautiful the font uh, beautiful artwork um, yeah but now the beautiful color that they lay on the inside the UK has also produced this new uh, oh. remastered yeah, and I, I will tell you this good. just came. I have number three thousand one hundred and eight out of four thousand. Yeah, the numbers right there. Oh yes, lovely. Now that's from the UK as well. That is, it doesn't say it's all region, but it is region free. Beautiful. You could play that. Supposedly, beautiful, <laughs> clear, clear and light. Supposedly, a company here in the states named Severin is going to be putting out the remastered edition as well. But I couldn't wait, so I had to have that. There and we go. oh yeah, go right ahead, man. Comes with a little booklet, little post, talking, yeah, yeah, little poster, little lobby cards, and. The one thing that's chapping a lot of people's there. asses is uh, the title screen when the movie starts has been changed to um, the director's preferred title, Satan's Skin. Which yes. actually I kind of like too, but I'm so used to the blood on Satan's claw, I just, you know, I do blood on Satan's claw. So, yay. The poster yeah. just looks like the cover of the, yeah, yeah. Uh, yeah, but it um, says there. Satan's Skin instead. So, and, and yeah, I'll put all that back together later. You can but leave there you go. Way. Yes. So again, not available readily in the United States, but very careful with this. Oh yeah, you know it's one of my favorites. Yeah. But um, you, it is, even though it doesn't say region free on the back, it says region B. You can play it on U.S. Blu-ray players because I tested it on mine. So, oh, hopefully you guys heard me on the podcast. I, mm -hmm. Hopefully this picked me up all right on, on oh, iTunes. Oh, probably it's a good microphone. If not, right oh well. Um, but but yeah. um, hey, that's just my little collection. We should have done a separate video of of your Blu-ray unboxing. Yeah, um, <laughs> I hate unboxing. Yeah, videos. <laughs> I mean, I let me put it this: it's way. I would never there. want to do an unboxing video, but I do on occasion watch them. Yeah, if it's something that I'm interested in, and I want to know. All how right, it's like packed. like something like that or something. Uh, yeah. Well, I was curious what was inside. Yeah. Um, unfortunately, the reason I still have both of these is because. The older one has like a good 15, 20 minute interview with Linda Hayden that's not on this one, this newer one. And it's really good. So She's I, a hammer chick, right? She was in Taste the Blood of Dracula. And she's been, oh, she is one of the loveliest look, this period of, of her acting career. I don't, I'm not usually like she all plays, about blondes, yeah. but she is stunning. She plays Angel Blake. Angel Blake. Who what is, a name. <laughs> who is. The main antagonist? Yeah, or? she was under contract with this company that produced this film. Yeah. So she was contractually obligated to do it. But man, she brought it. I mean, she's way better in this film than she was in the Hammer film she did, Taste the Blood of Dracula. Mm. Um, and like I said, she's just she's just stunning in this Weren't film. Weren't there a couple other Hammer people in this film? Or no? Yes, there is um, the fellow that plays Ralph Gower. He was in... Okay, Barry Andrews. Yes, he, yeah. he was in Dracula Has Risen from the Grave, right. which I don't know if okay. you've seen. You have it, but <laughs> I don't know if you've seen it. And um, the other female character, uh, and the, her name's Michelle Dotris, uh, she played Margaret. Yeah, Margaret. The one yeah. where they cut the skin from the leg. We'll get to it. Yeah. Oh. Uh, she was in The Witches with Joan Fontaine, pretty pretty big actress okay. from okay. way back. And that's... A, that's it's a lesser hammer. It's almost folk horror-ish. Yeah. In in you know for what it is. So you got some hammer people in this film, even though it's yeah. not a hammer produced film. Right. Kind of has the feel, but also kind of has yeah, that. Yeah, it's got that folk, flavor yeah, to it. Yeah. So. so a little history of of the film is. Um, shot him in the woodshed. Shot him in the woodshed. <laughs> Originally, it was supposed to be one of those anthology films yeah. that were popular at the time, like. Uh, um, 
you know, the house that dripped blood or tales from the crypt, you know, mm. the ones that Amicus were putting out. Mm. And that's a, probably a little bit of the reason why the story is a little choppy. There's some things that yeah. just quite don't, you know, you know, some characters disappear, you never see them again. Mm. Um, and you, you, you are left with some questions as to how things are happening. And well, yeah. I how mean, people get certain places and... Yeah, and that's yeah. just the nature of the, when they decided to make it just one big story again. Because the idea was that the judge, mm-hmm. Patrick Weimark's character, was going to be the main character in each of the three stories. And each one, like the first one was going to deal with... Uh, I could see that too, the way... The, the girl and, that uh, yeah. Peter was going to marry. Yeah. you know, And then the second one was going to be about the children. And then the third one was going to be him facing that demon like he does, like he does at the end. Okay. Yeah. Um, with Instead him as they, the character. So they put it all back together, patched yeah. it up as best they could. Eh, and it would have been cool being a trilogy like that. Eh? Possibly, but um, uh, those films, know. you know, although they were popular, they were usually like you know, like the second feature. They, they, they just didn't make a lot of money. Yeah. They're fun to go back and watch now. I think House That Drip Blood is the best one out of all of them. Mm. Um, I, have, I have that one. If you live in the UK, there's a really nice one coming out soon, too. In a nice Time Lord. Movie. Yeah, yeah, our buddy Time Lord. I'm going to dedicate this show to Time Lord. Since he <laughs> lives go. in the UK, and this is a UK movie. Uh, yeah, and this teeters on, uh, you know, a lot of those, there were a lot of movies with, you know, Salem Witch Trials during yeah. this period that they would, you know, that they produced in Hollywood and stuff like that, and, and, and in Brit- Britain. Mm-hmm. The, the British and this horror. takes place in the, in the 17th century, so the 1600s. But they kind of bounce back and forth between that, Satanism, and, and there's a kind of a... There's a mix between the two, you know, mm-hmm. which we'll get into starting now. I don't right. know if this you is, want to. Uh, so, yeah, it takes place in the 1600s in a rural village in 17th in century. Yes, so you got to remember, it's 17th century, 1600s. 1600s. 18th um, century, and even the 1700s. Way they speak is a little so bit the 19th different. Century like they even kept 18, it like a little oh. bit more quaint in their language. These and thous and stuff and like thy, that. And thy and the. Yeah. Which I thought was kind of cool because a lot of films would just put some British people in there talking normal and that's how it would be when that's not how they talk. There's quite a bit of ad-libbing in this movie too. Oh, you think? The, the director just like, yeah, go with it. Hey, speaking Perfect. of the director, Pierce Haggard. Yes. Um, he is related to a Who's famous that? writer, adventure writer that I love, H.R. Uh, writer. Or um, Hagger, R. Hagger, writer, whatever. Hey. Um, he wrote um, She, which is uh, a great old film from the 30s yeah. from the guys who did King Kong. Mm. And Hammer remade it themselves mm-hmm. with Peter Cushing and Ursula Andress. Ooh. And uh, like King Solomon's Mine, Alan yeah. Quartermain, those are all his stories. He, okay. uh, he was the inventor of that. So, hey, we got some cool blood in that guy's veins. Yeah. And I love those kinds of old adventure stories, that, and, no. and Rice Burroughs and stuff like that. Really? So, yeah. Yeah, if you're watching, this is your first video you ever watched of us, yeah. It's... yeah everything we like is old. <laughs> <laughs> Older than us. Mm. <laughs> but uh, so, so, so the movie starts out and opens up. Plow in a field. Plow in a field. You got Ralph. Gower. Um, Folklore this is like a big, in the woods. This yeah. is like a, a farm. I don't think they're particularly like rich, but it is probably like a, a larger landowner in this village. Probably the largest landowner in this village. Ralph works for them. He tills the fields and does the gardening. He tills the fields. He does. And uh, the thy and they. And, right. the, and while oh. he's plowing the fields, he turns up. Um, I plow the fields. Oh, here. I did it about an hour ago. What? Uh, oh, oh. No, I'm joking. Turns up a skull. <laughs> Uh, not just a skull, but a fiendish-looking skull with fiendish. fur and an eye. So where's and, the fiend? And that sound, says the magistrate. That scene is so cool with the worm all crawling. Yeah, on they the sh- eye sh- and... yeah show it. I mean, it's not dirty or nothing. It's mm-hmm. clean. Yeah, eye. it's a nice you know, clean eye. <laughs> you know, no blood. It's not bloodshot. Nothing. Right. So so he runs yeah. to the house. It was a clean swipe. And the lady of the house. Um, Ooh, I forgot her the name. Lady of the house. I forgot her name. Oh, Forget I don't her. know. Um, um, is Kathy Veepers? No, I don't know. No, no, <laughs> Kathy's the little okay. girl. Uh, but anyway, the, the Ellen. No, could be a, no. Isabel Banham? Possibly. I don't know. <laughs> Go actually, on. yes, I, th- I think that that is correct. Actually. It is Isabel Banham. As as. as, as Abbas oh no Landon. no no it's not anyway okay. anyway the lady of the house she's entertaining the judge. I'm, I've got IMDb ready here. Right. Oh, the judge is in visiting. And, you know, Ralph's explaining this oh, weird oh, oh. skull he found. And, he, and the judge is kind of an enlightened character. He doesn't strike me as particularly religious. 
you know, it's just like, you know, that's old thinking, you know, we just got done yeah. with this whole inquisition for however many, you know, years that lasted. And, you and know, just witchcraft, is, he's like, are you really trying to start this all up again? Yeah. That, that's in a nutshell, that's what he's telling people. Are you really trying to start this again? Yeah, but I've seen it. I've right. seen it with my eyes. You know, I'd not trouble you, the, you know, you lord with such, you know. <laughs> so he goes to check it out, and there's nothing there. Well, there is a bone, but there's no skull. Um, he goes, ah, so where's the fiend? Right. So, but, and it's funny that he has, he's awakened, and this isn't Satan. This is one of the princes of hell, Behemoth. They almost made it seem like I was going to say something, then I stopped. But my brain does that every now and then. My brain never stops. Um, <laughs> but it's funny how they almost made uh, the judge seem like he was in on something during that. Dang, huh? For be, didn't he? I mean, because he, he I didn't take it that way. But that's well, okay. he came saying he found a skull with hair and stuff like that, and the judge totally dismissed it. Mm -hmm. And even when he went there, he's got like. Where the scene was set You've up, wasted to where, my like, time. Yeah, you wasted. Where is it? Like, it made it seem like he, kind of like you know. I don't know how he would have got to, it that fast. I, I don't know. I He's don't like, know. Like, well, you just wasted my whole fucking day. It seemed like it to me. <laughs> but anyways, uh, yeah. they, um, and uh, then we'll, we'll come up to a scene where the, some children are playing in the, in that field. Wasn't um, it Margaret that ca hollered out to the guy tilling? tilling no, um, that's Kathy. That was Kathy. Kathy. Okay. Her mother is like the housekeeper yeah. for, for the family. And she has, and she has two for two him. children. She's got I think Kathy, he loves me. Kathy and Mark. Uh, yeah, I mean, I, I believe Peter Ralph Paul had, and had Mary. been sort of courting her. You know, whatever. You know, things were probably a lot less complicated yeah, in the like, 1600s. They're like a half a mile away. Hey, what do you do? You know, hey, Ralph, how are you tearing the fields? What do you... Yeah, you gotta you gotta say, man, the 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 scenery, the lush, you know, it's beautiful. Now, there's not really a a dedicated information that tells you how long this film takes place, mm -hmm. but it's definitely over months and months and months, um, because I mean, you're plowing fields in the early spring, right? And by the end of the film, trees are getting bare. It's it's definitely late into the fall, so this goes over some time. Yeah. Um, but it doesn't seem that way when you're watching the film. No. You know, the beats happen very fast. So um, some children are playing in the field. Kathy's there, her brother Mark, and the beautiful, beautiful Linda Hayden as <laughs> Angel Blake. I just think she's... Angel Blake. And I'm not saying it in a, in a disgusting way. She's just lovely. She's just, just oh, I don't even, like I said, I don't even usually dig blondes that much. But that <laughs> hair, that 70s, parted in the... Oh, that's just... <laughs> And those eyes, those that, blue eyes, that, that, those scenes where they get like really close to her eyes, yeah. those Sergio Leone scenes. Yeah, oily, oily like, face and greasy hair. I love it. I mean, you know they didn't look that good in the 1600s, but, you know, they had black teeth and grease and, you know, and shit between their toes. And My truth fell out. <laughs> exactly. Mm. So. But I love you, honey. But I love you. Yeah, I mean, it's an ideal life. Never version. ask me about my accents because <laughs> I have no idea what they are either. He just makes them up, man. Yeah. <laughs> Makes one, you know, gives fake names when we go to restaurants. What are you doing, like All right, table table for nine. What's the name? Snuffleupagus. <laughs> Find the <laughs> I'm um, gone. Yeah. And no. uh, she finds something in the dirt. Um, they don't show it to you right away. We find later on when they're in Sunday school, they're all sharing it and looking at it. Yeah. And it's a claw. It's one of the claws from the demon. It's Satan's claw. And, oh, and, and when we're introduced to that priest, he, he's... He ain't much of a, you know, it's one of those how, old priests, you know, I'm going to beat God into you and, you know, kind of like that. Yeah, yeah, Their okay. Sunday school training. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And it's a, it's a cool scene where he's teaching, like Sunday school, like he's teaching all the kids and stuff like that. I never went to Sunday school, so I don't know. Of various ages. You don't go and, to school on Sunday. And they're all giggling and saying stuff and he keeps turning his head. What's going on, you know? I like when they're passing the claw. It's in yeah. a little cloth bag. Yeah. And like one's got it, they pass it to the next one. <laughs> yeah. Like he don't know what's going on. But, yeah. you know, he's, you know, there's a growing disconsent amongst all of you, and I will beat it out of you. He doesn't say I'll beat it out of you, but you certainly get that He's feeling. stern. Yes, he stern. is stern. But the kids, something's up, you know what I mean? There's something Starting going on. Starting to. Once, once, With these teens. Once the demon gets turned up, 
The, well, I wonder uh, how that even began. I mean, that's t- part of the thing with the, the with the film. That's one of the things I'm talking field. about. Yeah. You know, you put logic aside. Was there a, a sacrifice there, or, or was that Satan's remains I, I that think got the, dug up? The way the logic works is, I think he. he I mean, maybe, maybe I don't know enough about the princes of hell. There was a great maybe, big battle. You know, centuries ago. I have no idea. And Satan was defeated and buried. But this in isn't Satan. This, this is Behemoth. It's, it's a different devil. There's okay. more than one, you know. Oh, sure. Yeah. I mean, people think more it's just one, Satan. It's, it's just Lucifer. There's there. I mean, there's there's Satans. See, because oh God, are we going to get into it? Uh, hey, from well, my we're learning, talking about a movie from my learning, that deals with Satan. Satan claw. is not really, and maybe somebody can correct me if I'm wrong. Someone who's more intelligent than I am, I don't know if there is, but I'm uh, <laughs> <laughs> not kidding. I'm kidding. Um, that in actual, if you go break the language down, Satan is a title, not a proper name. So there are Satans. Oh, there yeah, there no, are more I, than one. Yeah, I'm in line you know. for. Um, oh, you're, oh, you're yeah. up for the job. <laughs> <laughs> for the position. I'm up know. for a promotion. <laughs> I, I put my application in. Yeah. Two days after you, I was born. You should. Ahead. You should get it because you've had a hell of a time. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> so this is interesting. There's okay, yeah. Lucifer, Satanus, Behemoth, Beelzebub. You know the, those guys. Okay. And anyway, there you uh, go. this is Behemoth. And, uh, mm-hmm. or behemoth, if you want to say. Behemoth. I choose to pronounce it the proper way. Ted behemoth. thinks it comes from a small town in Britain. Behemoth. 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 Anyway. Sounds like... Uh, Belial. Belial from... But the, Belial is, is one of the princes mm-hmm. of hell. So. Ooh, basket yeah. case. Yes. Okay. So, um, I forgot about that. Well, get, so on, get on with I it. I think when when the till, when he somehow, I, I, maybe he's a demon oh. of the earth. Or you know of the ground of the soil. Who, I don't know enough. I'll have to right. study my demonology. Because the glimpse we do get of him a little bit later I'll on, have to he get looks my like grimoire of the demon. Yeah. <laughs> looks like a little Jawa. But anyway, so. sort of. Yes. Now the idea <laughs> his, originally was to never show him. Yeah. That's certainly what they wanted. But you know, you got producers. The money guys like you're going to put some kind of fucking monster in there. Well, I, I think you got to put something in there. I think they had to. Because I when mean, you see it, it's like that's it, man. That, that, the, the, you know, and I get that. I, know, I, know. I can put that aside. See, that's the thing. Well, I the can last do. scene. If the story yeah, is they, good, if the acting is good, and and oh, and this film's got a killer soundtrack. I'm trying to find it. It uses all kinds of. You may not realize it when you're watching, but it's using all kinds of weird instruments. Yeah, um, there's a couple scenes that it almost sounds like carnivalish, like. I'm like going. The this guy who the, did the music. And this was his only bad. soundtrack. He just uses lots of weird instruments. Not saying it's bad, but it was like. Doo, 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 doo. And it was in a scene where it should be scary and intense, and I'm like going, "That was odd." Some of the music is is so, a little different in this yeah, film. Yeah, so, so I, I'm trying to find the soundtrack because I really like it. And I know they released it not too long ago, so I'm hoping maybe I can find it. Just rip the. Uh, Audio from the from your uncle. Take away the. <laughs> okay, go. Um, <laughs> we got to get to um, whoever the uh, uh, the girl that he brings to. Uh, well, that's house. exactly what I was going to say. Now the okay. lord of the house, the young man, the his name is Peter. Peter. He just shows you up are lord with, of with the some manor. farmer's daughter named Rosalind. Oh, he comes in the house. The judge is Ted's there. talking his about aunt angel. Is there, and Rosalind. She, oh, she's cute too. She's mm. she's stunning as well. She's a looker. Hair's a little shorter than than what I like, um, but well, I mean, when you when you put her and Linda Hayden together in that film, and you give it the Pepsi challenge, I mean, who are you gonna pick? I'm picking Rosalind. You're always weird like that. Dude. <laughs> you like small boobs, pancake butts. <laughs> <laughs> we got different tastes, but I don't know what to say. You like your girls um, to look like boys. Oh God. <laughs> Hey, does, Not that there's nothing wrong with Does it. Nicole Kidman have flapjack? No, those are perfect. I mean, those are handfuls with little... little okay, I'm going you're, too far. You're objectifying go her. Okay, go on. She's a mother. I know she is. And she's her kids beautiful. might listen to our show. She's beautiful. Okay. You're, yeah, That's it's better. Anyways. That's better. Okay, so Rosalind I didn't comes. say I wanted to go and fondle breasts and anything. <laughs> I said she was stunning. Well, well, <laughs> um, so Rosalind comes with Peter, right? And, and the aunt, yeah. his aunt, the lady of the house, 
is not very happy about this because Ellen, the housekeeper, she's like, oh, are we going to have a new lady of the house? She's like, most certainly not. I'm the lady of the house. <laughs> and, and she'd say it like that in a grass deal. She drinks coffee and cigarettes and stuff, <laughs> or tobacco and, uh, that they grew back in the 60s. Yeah, she, she's uneducated. She, she's, she's, you know, she said, judge, it's not the kind judge. of woman that a landowner would, would be marrying. And the reason they think he's going to marry her is like at night they're playing cards and when he's like, you know, she's, now well, they kind of, the, the ant kind of belittles they're her a little war. bit. They're playing war. Is that what they're playing? I don't even yeah. know what they're playing. The highest card <laughs> card wins. And um, I wasn't even paying attention to what they were playing, but yeah, yeah I think you're right. And, you know, the judge is like, well, certainly she's not going to sleep here, is she? You know, I mean, she can go home. And she's like, well, that's just it. You know, your Lord, I can't. I can't. And so what that, that basically, <laughs> they think he's knocked her up. And quite honestly, I, I get that feeling too. Why else would she say, I can't go back home? I know, because, yeah, she says, yeah, and in a way that you're like going, oh, what? Like, I mean, he we, does say that to her. He's like, why are they looking? Even at, as know, the audience, you're going, what? Why? Why did know, she say it like that? But anyways. Right. And even when she says, you know, why, you know, she doesn't like me, why is it? He's like, because they think you're pregnant. I like They that, think you're with child. Yeah, I, I like that. They, I, they I think of it as, I think so too. But. Yeah, probably. <laughs> but I like that he sends her up in the attic. Yeah, they set her up in some dingy old attic. And Peter goes, in the attic? What is that? Ellen will take care of it and clean it yeah, up. Yeah, she'll dust it off and throw matches together and all that. Yeah. So he tells her, yeah, you know, about 11 o'clock or so, I'm going to sneak up there and, you know, be with you. you and know? he's, meanwhile, he's downstairs at the table talking to the judge. Yes. And he's looking at the clock at the same time. He's like, yeah, damn the it. The judge won't go to sleep. He's mm. drinking, talking. And Even all admits of a sudden, that he, he used yeah. to, you know, be a little sweet on his aunt. Oh yeah, admits yeah. that, and yeah. he does make a toast to was it King George the Third, you know, and then you know throws the glass. Why do people do that? Throw the glass and break. Uh, and I like look, Peter look like what the hell did you go break that glass? Why, for? Who broke that glass? <laughs> who broke that glass? <laughs> I'd be like, what the hell? Well, you break, I'm gonna go to your house and break your goddamn glass. That cost me fifty <laughs> wobbles. You know, that cost me fifty wobbles. Um, okay. <laughs> That was the only glass in the house. Man, at this rate, Back we're then, gonna, this is going to be a three-hour... Um, <laughs> this movie deserves it. But, but anyway, hey, so... Hey, how many people... And I'm going to say, last week's show, we had a lot of nice comments from all you all you guys, some new people. Yeah, and I man. love new people. Of course. And, and old. We don't usually get that many. I mean, you know, I get close to 30 comments. I get excited. <laughs> <laughs> you know, that doesn't usually happen unless we're doing hey, something I, popular. Yeah, we're, we're long format, and, and right. it's, you know, hard to get people to come. So I appreciate show, but, yeah. everybody chiming in and of talking course. about the body snatcher. So yeah. anyway, if this goes a little long, it goes a little long. You know? <laughs> well, I guess what do you do? People obviously like it. But anyway, well, we'll see. We get 90 views next week. Yeah, probably. Um, well, for and, this movie, yeah, probably. Anyways. Oh, by yeah. the way, it's free to watch on YouTube, I think. So, I mean, if, you don't, if you're too cheap to buy the movie. Isn't any movie up there now? I don't um, know. But, but, but um, at the same time that they're down there and he's looking at the clock, s- s- something starts happening up there. And, yeah. and there's a scream. And, and Rosalind, mm-hmm. you know, She's I, going I, I went up crazy. there and, and I oiled her down. And uh, no, yeah, she's going batshit crazy, and she's like, you don't know what's going on. She's um, I like when they get the door open and she starts screaming at Peter, and yeah, she's the judge at pulls him, like, him away, gives him a bitch smack across. That's where he smacks him across the face and says, "Get away!" The sight of you upsets her. Yeah, like, <laughs> <laughs> like it wasn't the judge. <laughs> Maybe him without his wig. <laughs> Isn't that funny? I thought it was great. It, like, the judge made, was the first one to make an appearance, right? Not, in the well, room. No, no, I think Peter did. Did he? He got that door open when okay. and she screamed. But, yeah, t- t- he immediately said, yeah, she does not like the look of you. Like, yeah, so they you know, oh. go get Ralph with some boards and nails. We're just going to nail her ass yeah. in the attic, which they do. <laughs> they do, yeah. And he says, you know, we'll call the men from the bedlam tomorrow to come and take her away and he's like you know the, the, the you know the insane asylum the lunatic asylum they're just going to take her away and he's telling her be, be glad her. you didn't uh, you know marry her because yeah a you week know, later this is what's going to happen look what look what, look what, look what could have happened to you if oh you had married her a God. week ago yeah well, and, we, and we will find out later on when peter ventures up to the room for a nap yeah well anyway um, when the guys yeah. from the bedlam come yeah you know she she's I mean, she's got that weird Crazy bitch look in her eye. <laughs> yeah. And and we've all seen that. You know, if you go to high school, man, and, and there's always a crazy girl in high school. 
Really? And you usually end up dating her. Oh. <laughs> and, uh, <laughs> so what are you saying? They're all crazy? Yeah, a lot of them. Oh, okay. And, uh, you know, she puts her hand on the banister going down, and it's a claw. Mm-hmm. It's a claw. And this is what happens throughout the film. Certain people start And she's she's got a smile these, on her face, yeah. you know, while she's looking at him. Yep. You know. Certain people Sinister, start uh, developing eerie, these fiendish patches of, of Satan, of, 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 of what they call Satan skin. Yeah, people would get infected. And with that infection comes a patch of Satan's... Hair. Satan's skin. Skin, hair, whatever. That's the new name of the film. And is. this was, the, that's the, the one thing that, yeah, you know, the, the name for the movie. But th- that was the one thing that shot him in the woodshed and <laughs> the, the, the patch of hair on the body. I, to this day, I mean, when I was a kid, when I first seen it, that's, I always remember that. Yep. You know what I mean? And, and I'm like. The patch of hair, man. Oh, and when they, and I, I'm jumping around, but when they cut off. Margaret's Margaret's hair because eventually some of it looks a little fake but then it starts looking pretty cool look at that thing crawling up on the ceiling right there what the hell is that oh it's an ant it's It's a cockroach it's an ant (laughs) it's a big ant I had a lady at work the other day one of my my little ladies I take care of we call her big mama because that's what she is and there's just a chip in the tile on the floor in the dining room she freaked out I'm moving over she's like Honey, honey, there's a big cockroach on the floor. <laughs> it's just a chip in the towel. But you get everybody in the in the dining room. Where? 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 Like, it's it's not everybody, a cockroach. Everybody freaked out. <laughs> what the hell? There's a is big that? cockroach on the floor. <laughs> <laughs> and she wears glasses. But <laughs> oh my god. So what was I saying? Uh, I'm sorry. I totally put you off. Mm. Yeah, people start developing these patches. Of skin, oh, yeah, something yeah. That you remember when they were cutting it off Margaret. Yeah, later on in the movie, Margaret gets infected. And, and they attempt Peter, who, who Peter comes to the aid of a lot of these. Peter, you mean Ralph. Uh, Ralph, yeah. Ralph, my man, Ralph. Yeah, Ralph. Ralph Mouth. Uh, he comes to the uh, aid of a lot of these women who are yeah. being, you know, uh, Troubled. They cut that um, skin right off. But but yeah, he takes and he cuts that skin and, and that hair patch right off of her leg, and she's just going, oh, oh, oh. You know, oh you know when God, they have her strapped to the mm-hmm. table like that, the director did that because he said something. As a child, he had a, sm- a small medical procedure done, and he was actually tied to the kitchen table. Yeah. So that gave me the idea to do But truth be told, it's probably how they would have done it anyway. Right. Back then. Oh, so, yeah. No, you know, yeah. Give him a little whiskey and tie him up and a piece yeah. of raw hide to bite on, maybe. And uh, So, what happens next in this movie? Let me think. <laughs> <laughs> We're all over the place. I'm all over the place. So, oh. <laughs> oh, well, you know, then, you know, Peter's going to be spending the night. Up in the, I don't know why he spends the night up in the attic. Yeah, P- Peter um goes yeah. Maybe because the judge has taken one of the rooms. Well, and he's curious. Like, oh, and she... you got to mention that uh, the aunt tried to go up there yeah. when uh, Rosalind was going bad. She, she bitch smacked her a few times. Yeah, yeah. And yeah. she got herself scratched up a little bit. Yes, on the face. She came right? up and came up. Oh, I'm all scratched. And I like the doctor says uh, says uh, she, she, she's got fever. You yeah. Know? Oh, and, yeah. and, and he's going to drain her of I don't know how much blood. Open a vein and let the humor pass. That says. that should do the That's trick. What they did, man. No, I know. What it's, a ridiculous I mean, isn't thing! It, Bloodletting. Isn't it crazy? And and it's people po- still did post- that. Yeah. Even back in you know last century, like in the thirties and stuff. I I used to take care of a lady. There's still people who think that bloodletting allows your body to kick your immune system in, like yeah. like it, it kicks in. And, and, and fight. Who believes this? So, yeah, I mean... Yeah. I remember I used to take care of a lady that had all these little Blood scars, scars on her back. I got a song about that. Blood lady. Blood. And I asked her about it one time. Every time. And that's where they would cut Blood lady. and use those heated glass jars and put them on there and, mm-hmm. you know... Um, oh, yeah, yeah. Yeah, and, you know, it suck the skin in and draw the blood out. The, the uh, leeches they would put... Sometimes, you know, yeah. Sometimes, yeah. Remember so, when we would put them right here? Oh, on the nips. Yeah, yeah. and... Uh, you know, See who could last the longest. Yeah, lay under the sun. <laughs> we just go, oh. This is the life. Oh, man. It was yep. so fun. It doesn't get any better than this, Beavis. <laughs> With lemonade and, and mud. I had an Arnold Palmer. Be true. Uh, um, it was good so, so Peter's up in that room. It was fun. He's spending the night. Oh, yeah. 
And well, he wasn't spending the night. He's sleeping up there. Yeah. He took this little... I thought people used candles, but back in the oh, 1600s, yeah. what that wick? he had some kind of wax wick. And that's neat, the little holder for it. I like that. Yeah, you pinch, you pinch it, it and you and hold put it, it there. In there. And you have this little... And evidently, that just lights up the whole room. And lasts for a long... Little... Like... <laughs> <laughs> Smaller than a big flame. <laughs> <laughs> and last forever, I guess, throughout the night. I mean, I don't know, but... Don't ask me. I mean, who needs a big, thick candle? You know, if, only if Stanley you got... Kubrick directs a film by candlelight, you know. <laughs> and that's, you know, you watch Barry Lyndon, that's what shit actually Who needs a big-ass like. candle when you got this pencil? That's how it, all those old gothic movies, they light up a... <laughs> Two candles and boom, oh, boom I know. the room's lit. Well, oh, in black and white movies, Abbott yep. Costello was good for that too. Yep. Like, light a match and the whole thing lights up. You know, be like, like you can't see shit, <laughs> <laughs> even with the candle. But uh, he starts hearing some thump on the floor. Floorboards are coming yeah. up, and you know, you're almost not sure if he's having a dream, if this is actually happening. And he's trying, you know, he's putting crates on top, trying to hold it down, and. Eventually, he, he, you, you see, well, you see the hand, the hand, up. the claw hand, the claw. you know, Satan's, you know, hand, the blood on it isn't there yet, but it will be. Yes. You know, and um, then, um, and he knocks out, and I'm going, there, that's the third floor, it's the attic, so. Yeah, so he's in between in that there. Space, with, he's, he's on the second floor there somewhere. <laughs> it's like tripping me out. I'm like going, okay, I mean, it's kind of cool. that's one of the things I'm talking about. Like, why kid, is it there? It why is he there? You know? I put a little bit of logic aside. I don't grant dimensional that privilege. Realm. Dimensional realm. I don't grant that privilege to every film. I mean, how the hell is he <laughs> infecting these women with the patches of hair and the guys or whatever? Yeah. But then, you know, Peter, I don't know if, you know... He, Peter Ustinov? No. Was in this? The master. And oh. He, he's, you know, in bed, he's looking he at his hand, and all of a sudden him. his hand is a claw. Yeah. So he grabs that knife and he starts right. hacking away. Hacks his hand clean off. And it, it was him just thinking it was. Right. It was his hand. Yes. Because, yeah, because then when the judge comes up and, you know, sees it, it's just his real, it's just his real hand. It's not a claw. So he's yeah. having this dream that his hand is a claw because of Rosalind. Right. What you looking at? I'm looking, I usually, you know those little hands I had? Yeah. I, I don't see any anywhere, but that. Oh, a, I remember the hands. Yeah, I, I should have had that ready. for. We had those time. in the oh. old, the old set, I think. We had those little hands everywhere. Yeah. But anyways, yeah. He's, so yeah, he's gone and chopped his hand, his right hand off. Big dummy gets a big club. Yeah, now uh, he's got a, nub. a big hook. And I like later on when uh, <laughs> they show him with the nub. Well, yeah, they show him with the nub, but like I, I think he, he rests it on Ralph's shoulder at one point. Like, why are you putting the nub on me? <laughs> Get your nub off me, Dude, man. There used to be my dad uh, was a coin collector. Yeah. Um, you know, whatever you know, type of coins he liked to collect. British folk horror and coins. One of the one of the shops he went to, the guy didn't have an arm. A shop in the dark. He, he just but oh. the thing of it was it would twitch. Yeah. It would move. And <laughs> <laughs> I just remember he would always point with it. Like I'd be in there and my dad would be looking at stuff and he'd be like, you know, hey Roger, give me give me that box. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, don't use your good hand that you can play with. Give me that box. Use or no. He was using. Well, his because it's the, it's, the, it's the phantom hand. You still <laughs> you still think you're pointing, but you're Roger, not. Give me that case over. <laughs> <laughs> it's true. It's true. I can't. I can't make that shit up. It's the phantom <laughs> hand. You know, he thinks he's pointing. If you, I guess, if I had a nub, I'd use it and point Should with. Be over there, right? <laughs> That one, no, that one. You go boxing. <laughs> who, who? I can't take who? it. Okay, I can't go. take it. Okay, okay, okay. So, um, Poor guy's probably not even with us anymore. He was old back then. Uh, or at least he looked old to my eyes. Oh, so where are we <laughs> at? Oh, um, Peter's done hacked his hand <laughs> off. Not a whole lot of shit's going down. Yeah. You know, the judge isn't buying any of this nonsense. So, Well, oh. when does he flip? Well, I'll tell you. Um... They're caring Is for... Is it Angel or Margaret? No, they're caring for, for um, the lady of the house, the aunt. And when all that stuff goes down with Peter, yeah. she disappears. Ellen is taking... The housekeeper is taking right. care of her. Yeah, yeah. She disappears from mm -hmm. the house. And, you know, they send out search parties, you know, a couple of days, you know, whatever they're doing. And turns out... As the phone goes, we never see her again. We no, never find yeah. out what happens to her. Yeah, and I wrong. do think that's kind of interesting. Yeah, it's a little, you know, 
picnic at Hanging Rockish, I guess, if, if you've ever seen that old film. Well, from um, what I hear was uh, on set yeah. when they were filming. Oh, here's Dino's <laughs> set stories. <laughs> you might going to make me laugh already. <laughs> She was, no, I'm curious what you're going to come up with. No, I mean, she was. I heard that she was called off to America mm. to start one of the first Dairy Queens. Damn. Um, I didn't realize had, they started back in the 1600s. <laughs> <laughs> no, this was in 1971. Oh, when they were making the film. So yes. it's because they couldn't find her. You know, there's. Can't, you know, call, hey, hey, yes. hey, lady. Where'd she go? It's, well, you bitch ain't in the movie no more. <laughs> she, she flew off to America to start the first Dairy Queen. The director's like, what? Uh, <laughs> <laughs> and her first, Dairy Queen, if you look it up, mm-hmm. one of their first Sundays were was the blood on Satan's claw. It was it dripped with cherry syrup. Look it up. Prove him wrong. Burden of proof is on you guys. <laughs> <laughs> so there you go. That's what happened to yeah, her. So, so out she yeah. search parties and. Ultimately, she's not found. Were they really and, search parties? Well, well, they they sent a man here and there to find. Well, that's what they could do. And they kept yeah. coming back. It was raining out. And the said, squire saying, We can't find nothing. And the judge says, Well, look again. Yes. Yeah, you know, because she was a good friend of his. And that's what he's telling the squire. You know, you realize she's a friend of mine. Go find her. But ultimately, they don't find her. You know, people are trying to chalk it up to, you know, like... Even the squire, who's kind of like the, the, the mayor of the village, the leader of the village. He fell in the mire. The muck and mire. mire. He even says, oh, did you hear about what, you know, Ralph Gower dug up? And he's like, D- dude, I, I mm-hmm. looked in that field. There was nothing there. Just knock it off. <laughs> and even because, well, it could be witchcraft. And he's like, you know, you, and that's where he says, it, I think, yeah. you know, do you really want to return to all those horrors that everyone lived through? Right, right. Um, you know, he seems pretty jaded about the whole thing. Back in the day, yeah. Yeah. Um, you know, and I think, I don't know if the doctor's there, you know, maybe tending to Peter a little bit. Mm-hmm. And, um, you know, he's got this demonology book with him. And that's another little similarity between this movie and uh, Witchfinder General. There's that witchy book. Yeah. And, yeah, the, the judge is kind of looking at it and going... This is where it kind of turns into yeah, a Yeah, he's bit just of a looking at it a little bit and of. going, you know, this is kind of interesting. Maybe I'll read up on this a little bit. You know, because... You know, so hey, doesn't man. he take it then? Yeah, he borrows Gets in a carriage and takes the has, hell off. Has to go back to London. He says, I won't forget you guys. I, I will return when the time is right. And the time that is right will be coming up. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yeah. And, and again, you know, months pass through this through this film. So some of the highlights that happen that kind of propel the story. You know, the, the, the children start behaving a little differently. Some are, fo- they're all following this Angel Blake. Seems to be kind of like the of kids this. in the Pet Cemetery remake, you know, with the drum. Or it's a little children of the uh, Cornish, I guess. Or that. You know, or kind that. of yeah. where the, the kids are just. They're all banding together in mm-hmm. kind of a. Playing games. Group, yeah, playing games. Um, and what we find is that they're falling under the spell at? of. We play everywhere. And isn't one of the places where they play is this. And they, but they, there's an old guy and an old woman with them. Well, I was just going to say, Go you know, they probably just live out in the forest somewhere and they just fell under it too. Yeah. Because yeah. I love that they're there. Oh, they, yeah. Like the old ladies just playing the drum. and. Yeah, I mean, with all the kids there, I mean, it, and you, you see the halfway in the movie or three quarters, whatever, mm-hmm. you know, it's, when they see all that going on, you, yeah, you, you see the old man and the old woman. Right. Very elderly couple, you know. Following along. Well, back then they were probably and, like 43. But <laughs> <laughs> they look like, you know, remember life expectancy. But it does add a very interesting... Focus you know, thing to it. You know, yeah, like there's to, just some derelicts living out and they yeah. fall under it too. Yeah. But I love where, where most of the devilish action takes place Ooh. is a, um, I an old declare. ruined church. What used to be a church... But it's just it, it's just in ruins, and they went looking around, you know, out in the woods and stuff, and they found that place. Yeah. They just they weren't, you know, they weren't saying, "Hey, we need to have a ruined church." They found it. That's a real place, and it's just perfect. And yeah. that's one thing I also got to say about this film. Uh, maybe even more than some Hammer films, this just feels so authentic. Everything looks, yeah, yeah. just like it's from that yeah, time. Yeah. And yeah. you know, I buy it. I'm instantly transported. No, it does. I think it helps that. A lot of it takes place outside. Mm-hmm. So, with the costumes and, you know. And how old is that church? I mean, if this is the 1600s, you know, I'm, 
go that could go back six hundred years or something yeah, like that. I mean, no, it's just definitely. and why is it in ruins? I mean, it's just interesting. Yeah, yeah. Um, so we said the judge leaves. Uh, we start noticing some differences, like the kids aren't showing up for Sunday school. Like I think like six kids show up, and, and the, well, the who's reverend the, is bitter. Who's it starts with? Um, doesn't it start with the one boy with the pain on his side? Mark starts, Mark. and we're going to find this is what starts happening to certain children that are developing the the piece of of skin of the Satan's demon, skin, yeah. Satan's skin with a patch of hair on. Oh uh, yeah, so Mark and his sister Kathy walking back to the it's farm. It's like a giant hairy mole, and yeah, kind of. And when he gets home, his mom's, you know, insisting she's going to go get him you know, some kind of tincture from the I have one on doctor. my butt. I actually do have a oh, hairy right here. But it's not, here. You know, zoom on this. Yeah, how's it? <laughs> Don't show me. Okay. <laughs> no, it's a birthmark. But, um, yeah, she That's goes to get him some kind call of it. tincture of... I don't know, opium, whatever, she's going to go get him for the pain. Yeah, here, take this. You know, take an apple. And then while he's there... I'm know, fine, can, mother. A uh, couple of... Thee, thy. A couple of hotties show up oh. and say, you know, would you would you like to come play with us? You know, Angel wants thee. I love that. Angel wants thee. <laughs> and, of course, as I would, he immediately gets up. I'm like, yeah, all right. Yeah, <laughs> and, yeah. Uh, they both stood up. They go out to that dilapidated church area I'm talking about. And play a deadly game of blind man's bluff. <laughs> Which ends up in, in Mark being killed and that part of his body being cut off. And then, where do they put the body? Oh, it, they put it in a... Shot him in a woodshed. <laughs> was, shot was, him in a woodshed. What the hell? I'm setting you up. <laughs> stop, stop them in a the woodshed. Yeah, mom's yeah. coming home with the, with the medicine. Pile the logs on And one him. of these little bastards throws a rock. First try, breaks the bottle. And tells her, you know, Mark won't be needing it anymore. We shot him in a woodshed. <laughs> we shot him in a woodshed. <laughs> and she goes home. You know, we don't see the body, but she, you, you see that she finds him. Yeah. And, um, <laughs> you know, there's that. and They start freaking out. Yeah, everybody's yeah. sad. And um, that night, Poor the, the Mark. reverend, you know, Poor he's doing his, his, I don't know, he's writing whatever reverends wrote back then yeah and yeah th there's a couple of angel shows very he racy like, scenes yeah, he there. doesn't like angel too much he yeah, well or maybe he doth he protest does, too much because you know when all the kids don't show up he's like you know where is angel blake you know like oh she you know she sorry she had she had a lot of important things to do the one kid says uh, she sends her regards but she had more important things to do but she shows up one yeah, night she's trying to convert him a little bit yeah, you know, she she's drops wearing her. a little corset, you know, nighty, whatever they would sleep and in. And he's asking what she wants, and she's slowly undressing and dropping it. That, and, that was racing. And you see, she's it under in eighteen. His face. She's under eighteen. In really? That yeah, she was not eighteen. Laws were different then, but right. But she was not. Wow. So don't get too. <laughs> no, I, I said because you have to think about that when you're watching. Like, oh, she, she's not even eighteen yet, guys. She's I not said even Rosalind is my gal. Yeah, I don't know if she um, was 18 either. But, well, she wasn't not cold. I mean, and it's full, but anyway. and it's full frontal. And oh, yeah. That was, the, that was in the States. That was edited. That was blurred. But. Yeah. That, yeah. The, and we'll get to the other scene, too. But, yeah. The, oh, my Lord. Let yeah, she disrobes and tries to well, what the, it's a, for tempt the, him. For the U.S. release, the film's nudity was censored. Yeah. Particularly Linda Hayden's seduction scene. By darkening the footage to avoid an X rating, so that yes. that that's why they did that. Like you just said, I don't know why I read that, but I, you know, know. I just stated it. He didn't need to read that's it. All. I told him all. You know, uh, I know my shit. I don't even have to look. No, no one needs a Keurig. You just a little hot water and a little filter. Mm -hmm. That's all. You know. Wait, what? Yeah, uh, I like chai with mine though. I don't drink coffee, ooh. but you like chai? Oh, yeah, I good. love a cup of the old chai. So he sends her off. He says, and "You could tell, man. He, he's he's just like pissed. you are quite beautiful." Well, oh, when yeah, she first no, starts, he's just like, "Shame on you, child." I know. He, he, he was you making know, those faces where, like, you, okay, he was it's tempted. Like, All right, he's had a row. He's had a row. He's tempted. He's, he's probably the but, only one. But he doesn't fall for it. And he, no, he sticks to his vows. Yeah. Bless his heart. Don't, hey, don't get him she far. Started, because she started getting a little pushy and a little, mm -hmm. you know. Come, yeah, come so play, he, we come play games with us. Yeah, you know, that's when he's like, I, "Play games! You're right here, right now. If, right. if you you jump my ball." Well, that's what I like. What, that's what I like. What Mark does when the girls ask him to come play games. He's like, "Oh, 
girls games or like girls no, games. angel taught us new games you know it's like oh what are we what are we what kind of game are we talking about around the world here what, what are we yeah. talking about <laughs> you have to come see mark yeah mark uh, yeah. yeah so then there's well okay he turned her down Ooh, and i'll tell you from from all you have to do is when, when a chick's wanting some yeah and you turn her down for whatever reason, whether yeah. you maybe you don't dig her or whatever, they get pissed off. <laughs> Guys get turned down left and right, and we just got to deal with it. But when a woman gets turned, oh, watch out. They are pissed. And they're going to take it out on you. And it's, Learning a little bit here. Yes, for, you? for you young guys out there. Yeah. Um, so, moral of the story is if... The moral of the when, story. When they want it, you, you just you do what you, you man up. You do what you got to do. You got to do something for them. You got to throw them a bone. Yeah. And, Bang uh, over the head, whatever. But hey, man, in the dark, all women look the same. So. Um. So that, uh, that's a very that's that's a that's I think that's I think I got that in a fortune cookie one time. Yeah. I always get weird fortune cookies. Remember that? Yeah, me too. You know, man really? with itchy butt, wake up with smelly finger. Yeah. One time I got the guy's check next to me. Yeah, I yeah, and that. I said, remember that? And I said, hey, buddy, I, I got your check. And he, he just said, thanks. Walked out of the restaurant. Yeah, that was weird. <laughs> and it was in the fortune cookie. I, it was in the fortune cookie. I don't know how, I don't know how, how they got it happen. in there, but they did. They're like, hey, buddy, I got your check. Oh, he, had, he had it going with the, the uh, owner. He was like, mm-hmm. oh, you got it, but we put like, oh, you know, oh, we put the So there you go. Man. Um, just, uh, so... She, they're at Mark's funeral. Right. And Angel's like, oh, Daddy, come on, come on. I guess there's no mother. So. Daddy, and come. Uh, after the funeral's over, and they don't have a coffin. This is this is old school burial. Oh, they yeah. just wrap him up in some canvas in the ground. What? Hey, it's 1600s. I guess, man. They couldn't even build a right bef- box. Or... Right before they started building coffins. Right before. Just two weeks later. Jonathan Coffin in 1699 uh-huh. built the first casket. I wonder if the guy's name was Coffin then. It was. Is it really? Well, no. Actually, it was Jeremy Casket. And Cas- they came I'm in. I'm being that- serious. No, no, <laughs> I am too. They came in and they asked him because he was he was a wood woodsman, whatever. Yeah. You know, he worked on wood. And uh, J- uh, Jeremy Casket, um, they said, "Can you build something to put?" And he was going, <coughs> "How did I know Coffin was going to be part of this?" And he, she goes, "A coffin." A coffin. I should have known. And he goes, and, and he, a bright idea. Mm-hmm. And from there on, it was a million dollar business, a billion, a trillion, <laughs> or, or more. Um, <laughs> I don't know. What the fuck is going on? Satan's in us tonight. Satan. <laughs> oh my. Oh, okay, so. So, uh, you know, where are we the at? Reverend Let's wants move to tell, on. The Reverend wants to tell the squire about Angel. Yeah. And Angel wants to tell the squire about the Reverend. Um, now, yeah. you know, because Angel and her father are standing right there, the Reverend doesn't want to say it right in front of her. Right. So he tells the squire, you know, I'll speak to you in private later. Big mistake. Because as soon as he's off to the side doing whatever... You know, Angel's father saying, you know, the, the, the Reverend tried to ravish her. She was bleeding. And I think we're supposed to presume that she was bleeding as, yeah. a, as if she lost her virginity. And um, how terrible that I mean, I she, she could just say that. Well, you know, yeah. that's how it goes. So and, they tie uh, him up and they're going to. And gonna, she said something like gonna she said something in the woodshed. He said, yeah, you know, and if I didn't do it with them, you know, same thing that happened to Mark was going to happen to me. And I didn't understand it at the time. And yeah. so, you know, and there's the squire who's this big hobbit looking character, you know, the fiend. <laughs> so they go, they immediately arrest him, oh, tie, yeah. him, tie up, him up, and he'd be like, "Damn it, if I had just spoke up first you know? <laughs> But they they gotta let him go because uh, who comes running with? Um, well, we're, we're jumping ahead a little bit. That's all right. But uh, yeah, they, they take him into the the shed where we got Mark was found. And they're like, "How'd you kill him? Was it this axe? Did uh, you?" He's like, "Look, his silence is his guilt." Like oh, the way people thought back then. And especially when we get to like the, the witch part, the drowning part, uh, just oh, stupid. Oh, my Were we really that stupid? Were we really like that? Well, who did they throw in there? Yeah, let's It'll get be to Margaret, that. But we'll get to that. Okay. Yeah, um, let's, 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 so yeah. Mark's gone. Okay. Oh, her, she and her mom and Ralph are walking home. Ralph gives her a little kiss on the forehead, and Sweet. and she's all happy, man. Yeah. You know, Mama's happy for her daughter. Ralph's going off to do whatever he's going to do out in the woods. Lovely. Yeah, it was lovely, and. Um, 
not too long after that, Kathy's picking. It looks like some time has gone by. Flowers right, are in right. full bloom and yeah. everything. And uh, Kathy's picking some flowers to um, take to her brother's grave. And two of these teenage boys, one of them's a ginger, and the other one's <laughs> wearing some weird green... Is there something wrong with being a ginger? No, but you, well, according to <laughs> South Park, they have no souls. <laughs> That's right, yeah. <laughs> so. um, it's funny that uh, that the ginger... Mm-hmm. I, I see. I remember seeing him in other movies. I should have looked. He's at in the him. Partridge Family. That's Danny Bonaduce. No, you can't. <laughs> what? Look it up. Is it? No. What? Okay. <laughs> okay. You're gonna believe. What the hell? No, you remember Family Good Affair God. with Jody and Buffy? That's yeah. Jody. Is it really? No. Okay. Got it. <laughs> <laughs> what are we doing? What are the to kid each can I think of real quick? <laughs> what are we doing? <laughs> Okay, but I remember him from other movies. In the t- anyways, it makes it doesn't even matter. Oh, but maybe continue. he was in Chitty Chitty Bang Bang or something. I think that's it. Probably go ahead. that must have been it. Yeah, and uh, they, you know, like oh, Kathy, you know, we saw. What are you picking them flowers for? You know, mm-hmm. what are they for? And he's like, oh, we saw some big ones, great big stems <laughs> like that. And she's like, where? Not for over there. So you know, she goes. Yeah, and your follows. accent's as bad as mine. Oh, I think mine's pretty damn good. <laughs> Shit, I think I could go to you know. I could probably go be a Camden Town tart or something like that if I wanted to be. <laughs> There's Scottish, Irish, British, yeah. Manchester, yeah, you go. Derbyshire. I mean, there's so many dialects. They all tell you, no matter how you think it's good, they'll tell you, what the hell Listen, are you sound, what are I could, you get, I could like? get away with shit in, out in, in Camden Town, wherever, <laughs> all them Town. places you mentioned. I could go to South Central Los Angeles. I could get by... Cause I'm, cause I'm Buck Wild, and you know I can get by like that. I hang with no, everybody. I could too, man. You know what I'm saying? You know, I mean, I, I go out everybody out loves me. me. Remember that trip we took, man? Yeah. Shit. Yeah. Damn. Yeah. Oh, shit. shit. Yeah. Damn. Um, yeah. Wait. So, so we're yeah. So they're running around with Kathy. Yeah, Ralph, they do the... flash back to you know not flashback, but cut to Ralph. He's cleaning some shit out of the horse's hooves. Yeah, he, I mean, he's a working we, man. We needed it. We like Ralph, man. Toss that info well, in there. Well, because it plays a part. If you love the movie, okay, go ahead. Yeah. Because then, because the boys are up to something. This ain't this ain't no shit here. Yeah. Um, they're, they're being told to bring her in. Right. Um, they tie a little rope around her waist. They're like, oh, it's just a gang. We're going to be cannibals, and you'll be our catch. Yeah, at first she was hollering, and, and what's his yeah, name was going to come in. Was, was coming right, to Right, she her. heard a scream and Ralph stopped because he thought he heard a scream. Yeah, he's cutting down a tree and, and, and he heard a scream and he went like this. Ralph's a man's man. Yeah, you they know? get a close-up of his face. It's just, you know, cinematography. So they bring her on into the, uh, you know, the ruined church area. Yeah. And there's Angel. Mm-hmm. Now Angel's starting, Angel looks a little different she now. She makes cake. She, well, she's got them eyebrows. That's where it started. Yeah. I don't, I don't know where those eyebrows came from. I don't know if she grew her own out like that or. Oh, yeah, she's got. Somehow she. It's she's either be, man, the, she's like becoming the bride of. You the think demon. it's yeah? You think it's like the hair from like Satan? Like you know how they grow the hair? Yeah. It just made him a lot bushier. And she's got some. Because I don't think it was makeup. They didn't like have some makeup. Bella Lugosi kind of. Did they have Maybelline like, back then? No, evidently they didn't have scissors. <laughs> Trim that shit back. <laughs> <laughs> And, and, and I do love, I mean, I know they even depict it on the cover of the box. Like the, oh, no, the, no, they don't. Never mind. But, like, you know, like when they're wearing, like, the, uh, you know, the flowers in the hair and the twigs. Yes. I really dig that. That's cool. A little bit like Midsummer. Yeah. And well, that's what I'm saying. You didn't get to see Midsummer, did you? No, yet. I did, and I thought it was fantastic. And I can't wait to see this director's cut that's about half hour longer. I'm hoping we get that on Blu-ray. Yeah, I can't wait um, to see it. So. Anybody that didn't like it, I don't know what to tell you, man. Cause I Banana it was... Splits just came out today. Did it? Yeah. Oh, well, maybe we got our movie for next week all ready to go. Oh, do we? Um, I don't know. Anyways. I'm anxious to see it. Mm. I don't care. Did you watch it already? No, but I, I, everything I've seen and I'm seeing is just... Uh, Maybe it'll be like Basket Case or something. Maybe we'll be surprised. Yeah, who knows? We won't be, though. But anyways, Um, getting... Yeah, yeah, so they um, basically... Moving on. Oh, and these old people are there, too. Mm -hmm. All right? And you've got uh, a character named Margaret, uh, Michelle Dautry, so we'll talk a little bit more about that. She's reading from some devilish book about Behemoth, Lord of the... Or, you know, whatever, Rise, all this shit. 
Oh, this is when they got Kathy there. Kathy, the guy. Okay, her there this now. is the they yeah. Ritually, uh, she's raped. The yeah, guy this... almost looks like her brother, but it's not her brother. He's he's wearing one of them things around his head, like he's gotten his head busted open. And, and and they they said that that whole scene that took place, even even the rape part, mm -hmm. um, was improvised. I mean, they just started. Do I mean they knew that that was going to be part right. of the scene, but they just started. Working at it and doing yeah, it, putting and, it together as they go to and, see and, what would yeah, look good, and, and just did it. And Let same, the actors same be with actors. The, same with the uh, you know incantation that yeah, they were reading the, the and singing stuff. that they would do. Yeah, they just started like, that. Oh, just try something, you know. You and, know, it's it's like okay, well, yeah, here you go. And that was, but it was cool. like, it was kind of a brutal, you know. It so, is. It's very uncomfortable, and because um, she had, you find out once the, the rape starts. Uh, she's got some Satan skin on her back. Yeah, it's on the, the back side over here, and and while I, I don't while, know who raped her, eh, one one of them clowns. Yeah, and while he's guys, but you know Danny Bonaducci doing his thing, um, Angel takes these I don't know, these big shears, these big iron looking shears, and just starts giant cast iron pruning stabbing, shears, stabbing, cutting that piece of flesh out of her because they're like building Behemoth uh, piece by piece. You know, everyone's donating. You know, whoever gets that flesh, that patch of hair, is sacrificing yeah. that part of their body. Some may live, some won't. Like they even show someone during that rape scene. I believe you almost think it's Peter for a second because they show a guy with a nub, mm -hmm. but it's the wrong hand. If you're paying attention, it's the wrong hand. Right. And the, you know that's where Satan got. You know that this not Satan, but Behemoth got. You know, gets his claw. one claw from. And um, you know that for a fact, huh? What. That that's where he got his claw from. I know it for a fact because okay. the guy told me. Okay. <laughs> I, I dug deep. Yep. And okay. then they just kind of throw her body there, and which eventually, you know, Ralph's looking for Kathy. He recognized her scream from before. One old guy, another derelict living out in the woods, says, Yeah, I, I saw Angel Blake and all them children are following her. They're playing the games and singing their songs. And yeah, eventually he finds Kathy just laid out in the... In the woods, um, and you can kind of see her back's been cut up a little bit. So. Yeah, yeah. Um, uh, did, did we jump over the, Did we jump over the scene of who was the one that they threw in the water? Uh, mm -mm. That happens next. Because, Does it? Okay. Yes, because Ralph brings Kathy's body to the uh, the squire while they're questioning the Reverend. Okay. And he says, you know, it's Angel Blake. You know, I'm so and so. You know, Mr. Jehopa that lives out in the woods there under Jehovah. under that tree yeah. told me he's seen Angel Blake and all them kids. They're the ones who are doing this. They immediately let the priest go. Mm. And so now it, it's on like Donkey Kong, you know. <laughs> and we know some time has gone by. Angel's not even in that area anymore. They've kind of snuck off. Yeah. Um, doing their thing. Building up. They're for a rent? No. Oh. Uh, building up Behemoth Behemoth. as they go a little bit. I don't know like what you know, time frame has passed. But um, then we get to the part that you're talking about where, um, I don't know, what, what, Ralph's doing some kind of shit there. And yeah, a group of guys um, ha have grabbed her. Yeah, they're chasing her through the woods. You know, and her saying she's... Margaret. Yeah, saying she's a witch. And um, they basically throw her in the lake. Right, and the idea is, because Ralph even says, you know... Yeah, you know, we're all throwing her like see if she's a witch. She's like, how can you tell? And they what do they say? If, if she floats, she's a witch. If, if she sinks, she's, she's not. not. She's not. And he even says, you know, and if she sinks, you've done a murder. Mm -hmm. And but actually, and they go like this. They go. I mean, and they run that's away. What they, did. they run off. That's. I know that makes no sense whatsoever. It's the dumbest thinking. In, I just can't believe if that you human drown, beings were once that dumb. If you drown, you're not a witch, and your soul just goes to heaven. I guess right. Yeah, I mean, it just it boggles yeah, it, my it mind. Never, it never made sense that, that that whole thing. Yeah, well, the whole I, I don't know. It just boggles yeah, my mind that people were once that stupid. And well, hell, you know, there's still to still stay. people that stay stupid by believing in. Okay, stupid okay. Things. So oh, on oh, oh, to my. so on to um oh, wait, wait, wait. the next scene. Oh, well, here we go. <laughs> <sighs> there we go. That's not getting to a uh, um. Yeah, I'm no, not no. getting into anything, man. I argue logic with somebody any day. Any day. Hey, I way. agree with you. That's it's right. all ridiculous. Any 
Yeah. Ridiculi yeah, yeah, yeah. is what they say in scientific form. Well, right, that's Latin, but, you know, ridiculi. Yeah. Yeah. Ridiculus, ricoculus. The and I. Oh, re- exactly. Yeah, I like ricoculus better than Anaculus. ridiculus. Anaculus. <laughs> so, yeah, he. so she does kind of float back up. No one's helping her. He gets, Ralph gets her out, takes her back to the to the house. And I don't know, it just seems like, you They're know. They were gone and let you die. The, 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 the mother, you know, Ellen, the housekeeper, wants to adopt her like a daughter immediately. Ralph's almost looking like, hey, maybe she could take the place of Kathy. Don't take... I know they keep her for about a week. Uh, nurse her back to health a little bit, I guess. Well, they find out, hey, you know, I shouldn't have... You know, there is something up with her. Right, you know, she's got like, some devil skin on her thigh. Yeah. She's going to be giving up her thigh. And uh, the doctor comes, he's like, let her die. There's nothing I can do. She, mm-hmm. she, you know, and they get the idea. How she's about we got the virus. What if we cut that skin off? And he says it'll grow back, but... I don't know. I think part of him like wants to wants to have it. Oh you know, yeah, because then he decides. Well, to he do cu- it. he cuts it off, and, and you see what is, cool is scene, probably but... the, the most sterile procedure ever done on yeah. a human being. They use a butter knife, I think. Yeah, um, he's he's got the leather strap and, or, or, or the <laughs> whetstone. I think it's a whetstone. <laughs> the barber's like, doing. I'm the barber <laughs> in the dell. Yeah. I'm the barber <laughs> of Savannah. Yeah. Um, and uh, did I say yeah. it's a barber in the dell? You did. But sorry, I covered up for you. Because um, I remember the Rabbit of Seville, the Bugs Bunny cartoon. Right. You know, the Wabbit. Elmer Fudd. Yep. I'm in the Wabbit. You know, I'm those were rabbit. brilliant. How, they, how do they, when they're making a cartoon like that, I'm sorry, yeah. I don't mean to go off on a tangent here. No, that's But what when they're do. making a cartoon like the Rabbit of Seville, yeah. how do they get it so timed with the music just right? You know, when they're drawing it. I didn't do, 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 do. I mean, because he's rubbing Elmer's head. Do, 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 I just don't know oh, how they, God. it's magic. You, you you animate it first and then you add the music and then. Well, yeah, but you, ha- when you, but when you're doing it to music. Like when you're they doing it, it with the intention, screen. when you're doing it with the intention of, it, and there's there's musicians out there going like this. Do, 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 do. Yeah, but you got to do, 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 do. Gotcha. Well, it just goes to show with a how great conductor. Who, it has who, nothing to do with the who, music. It's who can guys join who, the pictures? Who can do this? That's all. It I is. Have to you say know. About I, I'm that. sorry. I, this is a podcast too, so. I, I'm waving a conductor's wand in my hand. What does the conductor do? Can the orchestra just not do it without him? I mean, can't they read the music and know when to play? I just saw a joke on that, that where they were saying, um, you know, he, it's good to have them start them off, but like when they get in trouble, like mid, you know, mid song or something like that, uh-huh. you know, and, 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 and the violence can't, you know, and, and he comes on and he goes, so that's all they need, and they go, oh. But how can they watch him when they have to you know, read the music? I don't know. That's I mean, I'd be like, I'm reading the music, but I can't pay attention to you okay, so waving your, your, your you know popsicle stick around. So Satan's claw. Yeah. Um, so they bring Margaret back to the house. Yeah. Thanks for getting me back on track. Cut the and, skin and, off. And he puts he puts it in this jar like yeah. this is pride. Ralph tells him, man, we got to burn that shit. But it ends up being fortunate that they kept it. So, um, is but, it? But it didn't really help cutting that off her. She still no, yeah. belongs... To, to to Satan, she she even says it. I'm Satan's child, you know. Yep, I'm yep. the devil's child. She says I'm the devil's child. I love that. Yeah. And Michelle Dotry, she's cute. I like her too. Uh, she's in the witches. And there was another movie I watched not too long ago. Not not so much more of a thriller than a horror film. Hmm. Uh, with her in it. I, Oh, I can't remember. Maybe someone will remember. Prince about, Elmer? No, it's about two girls riding their bikes across France on vacation. Ooh. And one of them goes missing, and oh. it's about the other one trying to find her. And oh, it's from Ooh. the '70s. I can't remember. Oh, but it's pretty cool to watch once. I probably wouldn't watch it again because once you did, get, you get to John and Mary, 1968. I didn't, but I, I didn't know. forget about it. Okay, but I didn't watch it, but I didn't forget about okay, it. Okay, so and uh, like, there's a movie. scene. You know, it's been a few days. She's sitting in the rocking chair, and Ralph brings her some nice flowers. You know, it's end of summer, whatever, and. Uh, well, actually, even when they catch her, it's looking kind of fallish because trees are right, yeah. bare in some places. And uh, you know, she's you know, screw this. She's like, I must go back to my master. And you know, she's like, you know, we, you know, we praise thee though. You're the one who you know turned up the master in the field and released him to begin with. Mm-hmm. You know, she's like, you, you will lie with angel. You will, <laughs> you will lie with me. And he just throws her on the ground. He's like, man, to think you could have been saved. You know. So I, I was know, thinking, yeah. you know, he's kind of. Get a little sweet on her if she just straightened oh, her yeah. act out. He, he wanted to save her, and, you, know, you know. 
He wanted to save her. And I wouldn't blame her. I wouldn't blame her. She's lovely. Taste. Yeah. Very beautiful. And, uh, oh, also in that, when all that crap's going down, mm -hmm. uh, Peter, the man of the house, takes off. He's like, man, we got to get the judge. Shit is going down. Kids are dying left and right. Yep. This, this is, this is. So he heads off to get the judge. To the London. He's heading off to the London town to, yeah. to, to, to get the judge. Talk to him anyway. Mm -hmm. Um. So I'm coming. The judge judges right. Big so, scene. So he's you know Peter explains to the judge what's going on, and the Good judge scene. has been reading that book, yeah. and you know he even tells Peter, he's like you know I'm gonna come, but I'm gonna use methods that you've never even dreamed of. It just ends up being a big fucking sword. But yeah, uh, <laughs> I was gonna say he could take on Conan with that. Thing, My man. God, it's the biggest you don't see it till the end but yeah. it's the biggest sword i've ever seen in my life yeah and anybody who holds that sword looks like a badass instant oh, yeah. but anyway so he says you know I'm, yeah I, the time to return is now so he's he's coming so at that time right after this part that i just talked about with uh with margaret and mm -hmm. ralph um he goes back outside you know to sweep up some pig shit or something yeah and uh mm -hmm. peter's grabbing he's like hey I've brought, I've brought help i brought assistance and they see the judge's you know uh carriage coming and everybody's happy well yeah. margaret takes that opportunity to hightail it out of there yeah she books man so as soon as the judge is here he's like really shit you lost her the girl mm -hmm. who's who could lead us yeah. to angel and all these Really, and he's pissed at Ralph. He's like, "Really, Ralph again? Yeah. <laughs> you son of a you bitch. numbskull! You 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 dumb cough! <laughs> you dumb cough. <laughs> What's wrong with you?" But uh, it you does turn screws. out that the, the doctor's there, and he sees uh, he's got he still has the skin. Shows that to the judge, and mm -hmm. you know the judge sniffs it, and he's like, "Yeah, that'll be enough," because he's yeah. got he's got some devil chasing dogs with him. These are the meanest junkyard dogs you've yeah. ever seen. And, uh, you know, he has them sniffing They're that skin scary. a little bit. And mm -hmm. they, they, they're hot on her trail. Hot on her trail. When you itching your nose for you, you do a little bit today? I did a little blow. Before you came over? A couple I lines. told you to stop that, man. I like to just, like, you know, crunch up vitamin D and just snort <laughs> it. Yeah, I like to do that. Well, you let the real Coca-Cola just harden on your counter. Yeah. And you and then shave crystallize that shit it off. And then just, you know, use a... I don't have a credit card, so I just use like like my Zoo membership card to put it into lines. You know. <laughs> Your Zoo membership card. Yeah, you know, whatever. I got my Lego VIP card. I mean, whatever I got. <laughs> my Don Don Ramon's discount card. <laughs> okay, so so yeah, um, so, so the judge has got the dogs in hand. Yep. He starts chasing. He's going to get up a posse because um, they yeah, got dogs. Find dogs can smell posse. Oh yeah. So they got to get Margaret. They got to get Margaret because she can lead them to Angel. Yeah. So they chase her ass for a couple miles. She Margaret gets close to where Angel's at. You know, they chase her posse Angel. is what they do. And she gets to where yeah. you know, like where Angel's kind of because they even make mention. You know, Angel does, isn't even in these parts anymore. Ralph says that. Yeah. And but eh, they're coming back because the time is coming. Yep. For Behemoth to return. So she gets to about that area where the, the kids are all hiding out. And Angel's off the screen, but, you know, when, she, when Margaret's calling, you know, she says, you know, oh, yeah, oh, no, I'm, I'm here. You know, oh, who is it? You know, Margaret. Okay. Yeah, and, I didn't you know, even Mar know where you telephones been? in this, this movie. Yeah, where have you been? Yeah. She's like, ah, oh, you know, whatever. You know, I got the dogs chasing me. Well, that just immediately pisses Angel off. Like, really? You bring the dogs here? <laughs> She said, like, all right, come to me. And when she comes here, boom, bear trap. I don't know if they had these kinds of bear yeah. traps back then. That's the only thing I'm not 100% sure of. I'd have to, you know, GTS to find out if they had uh, bear traps in the 16th if, if, century. If, if they were working steel, then they had bear traps. So, yes. All right. So. I mean, it doesn't seem out of the realm of possibility. No, so she's there. Ah, oh, my foot's And that looks like a vicious. Yeah. I mean, the spike parts don't go into her leg, but. And, yeah, Still the angel comes down, down that it. hill, tearing yeah. ass down that hill, and whacking her with a stick and how dare you you know mm -hmm. you lying bitch you mm -hmm. telltale bitch she calls her and uh you know yeah. now you bring and the and then he reads the telltale heart to her the telltale heart and it's a ends up being a lovely scene yeah she says after, uh, but do you you know are you ready to give your skin and you know her face kind of drops there a little bit you know they took it from me and you know, like she's useless now all she's done is jeopardize the whole damn thing so yeah. she even says let the dogs have you and she she runs off back. Takes to off the, towards uh, Missoula. Yeah, and, <laughs> Missoula. 
to, to the highlands. <laughs> and yeah, sure as shit, those guys, they get hold of her. And I, I love it. She smacks Ruff. Why are you sick? Why, you know, why are you set the dogs on me? And she's so cute. Like, aw. Oh, um, and they take her to a, a kind of like the barn. Everybody goes to the barn. And I, I do love the judge in this scene. Oh, yeah. You know, he ties her up to the wall judge, and he says, yeah. you know, I have to know where Angel's at. I need to know. And he's like, I'm, I'm going to find out. He's like, you can either tell me or, you know, you know the dogs are right there because they're, they're threatening to sick those dogs on her. You know, have them start gnawing on her feet, work their way up. Yeah. And she says they're everywhere. Well, at first she's just like, I don't know what you're talking about. Yeah. And, he's like, mm -hmm. and she's like, I'll never talk. She's not very convincing when she yeah. says that. And he knows that. I mean, he doesn't have to lay a hand on her, just no. those dogs. And she lets it He's slip. the Van Helsing. Just about. Because she had asked Angel, am I too late? When she was in the bear trap. Yeah. Am I too late? Is it tonight? And, you know, she knows that whatever's going down is going down tonight. Right. He will be complete tonight. Yep. And she lets that slip to the judge when she's like, no, uh -oh. no, no, tomorrow, tomorrow. It's past. Yeah. You know, tomorrow. And he knows it's tonight. And he gets out of her where they're at. And they just leave her there. We, we don't really find out what happens to her after. Um, yeah, yeah. Just but she has, side she, she's the now. Judas. So yeah. the, the, the bizarro Judas. I guess. Bizarro Judas. She, she betrays yeah. the, the Satan. And yeah, they get their posse together and they're going to head out there. But in the meantime. Oh, okay. Um, uh, I don't know if I skipped over something, but Ralph's just, you know, he's got a little scythe, a little hand scythe in his hand. Yeah. And he's cutting some weeds. Yeah. And there's a crow. Uh it's the, out, oh, it's the yeah, outline yeah, of the crow yeah. on we, my We thing. can't forget that. Yeah, and yeah. He, he hacks his leg by mistake. Yeah. And he's going to yeah. go check out the wound, and sure as shit, he's got the same, his leg. From the knee down, or, or leg, whatever. And it had it's been mentioned hairy, yeah. earlier in the film that... Satan's leg. That some they were going to name the movie Satan's Leg. Satan's Blood leg. on Satan's Leg. It was mentioned earlier in the, in the film. I think it may be the doctor who says it. That, you know, folks say they, they've seen a strange creature, you know, hobbling as if only on one leg. And here along it was, the countryside. Here it was. Um, here it was Behemoth. No, it was. Uh, it was what's his name, Ralph. Ralph. Yeah. Go figure. So Ralph's to give the the last piece for the for the demon to rise. So, so yeah. So, so Ralph. He, go, he goes hides up in that attic room. Yeah. And you know he's watching the. And I love that scene across the field. There's all the men oh, with their yeah. torches and Picks the judges and... in front. And ah, oh, that's so cool. It's you it know, it's just from cool, a distance yeah. and. Great cinematography. Ra I think Ralph starts hearing some noise. For that. You know, some, awesome it sounds buzz. like a, a one-legged kind of creature coming up the steps. Boom, boom. Yeah. Boom, boom. Yeah. And um, you, know, you get the feeling like the door opens. And basically what happens is Ralph is whisked away to where you know the, the ritual is going on. Right. We don't actually see it happen, but next scene, boom, he's there yeah. standing in front yeah. of Angel. They skipped over a little bit. And, you know, and he is to, you know, he even gets there before money. the other dudes get there. They the couldn't posse. even feed the cast and crew. You gotta love like a pitchfork and torch kind of oh, yeah. mob. You know, you, you just gotta love that. I love it. I, you know, Kind of like those Chinese guys at the airport, right? We now, do it every that. um every um October. Well, you know, I know, but you know, it'd be nice mm. to do it when it's not October. You know, yeah, a big cornfield. You know, I don't know. Maybe do it like in March or something Pitten. like that when the weather's yeah. a little nice, when the weather breaks. Remember five fifty-gallon drums of the acorn drums. Yeah, acorn yeah. drums. We get the uh, oil out of there and light it up. Light it up. <laughs> That's what I'm talking about. Mm. Light it up. We dip uh, pitchforks in there and just... Yeah, light those up too. Burn, <laughs> burn them up. Burn the handles. <laughs> well, we run our business, our hemorrhoid burning business during That's that right. month. Laser, we don't use laser treatment. We, we use old school fire treatment. No, acorn oil on the pitchforks. That's right. Cauterize them. Yeah. I, that's the only way to do it. It's the only way I think it should be done. It's how I do mine. It's antibacterial. Mm-hmm. You ain't going to get no more bacteria back so. there. But but you yeah, don't poop the, the no big either because your butthole will be fused shut. Oh, it still comes through and you go. Oh! But it's like really pencil thin. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> but, but, but the big climactic scene yes. is the judge shows up there. Yeah, they're doing their ritual. There's when those the old people there yeah. banging on. They're doing their drum. Ooh, ooh, ooh. it's a big ooh. big scene. And then there's, a, there's a cute little gypsy girl. She's Whatever she's doing. She's dancing. Disrobes herself and she's dancing for off and gives him a knife. And she's gesturing, you know, cut your leg off. 
cut your leg off. Right, right. And Enticing him, and he's getting close. He's getting to, close to doing it, like he's compelled to do it. But then, the judge. Well, first, like Angel sees them. She sees the mob. She runs, and a, just a dude's holding a pitchfork. She just runs right into it. Right. Yeah. So Angel's is gone, but there's the demon. Oh, oh and Angel's all up to him too, man. They were like, yeah, oh. they were together there. He's yeah. he's got this big cloak on. You can see some fur, fur. through. It's not the know, best but... looking costume. It's not the best no. looking creature, but no. they had to show something. Yeah. But then the judge, they uncover that sword. And it's a mother of a sword. It, he pulls it. I should have my sword ready. It's sitting it's over bigger there. than that. It's like three times that size. I sh- yeah, he pulls it out, and it's just big, gigantic Conan barbarian. And what does he do? He, he like, and he's a big, heavy yeah, guy. He gets and he just he like jumps. And it's jumps. slow-mo. They do like. Yeah. Sl- like an old Japanese martial arts movie. He's cutting through the crowd. Yeah. And he gets right up to that <laughs> demon. And I mean, this all happens slow, but it's like. Ugh, right into the into gut. It, and then he lifts his He lifts this, it, man. This is where I don't think Peter Cushing could have pulled power. that off. All right, we needed Patrick Weimar for this. I don't know if this guy could this. pull it off. <laughs> Lifts him up. Yeah. And was it, throws him in a fire. Yeah, throws him in a fire. And evidently that's all you need to do to kill a same. demon from hell is yeah. burn them. Yeah. <laughs> burn them. Burn, <laughs> burn them in the wood shed. <laughs> <laughs> and, you know, and, oh, and, and Ralph goes, <gasps> you know, everybody's hair oh, yeah, it's leaves gone. their body. So maybe he and Margaret can hook up now. Yeah. We don't know, but... Maybe. So I'd like to see it happen. So there's an exciting tale of blood, the blood, from Satan's Claw. I don't... On Satan's Claw. Uh, <laughs> from Satan's Claw. It's call. kicking in. And so get your, get your ass the Blu-ray because it's beautiful. Get the other one, though. Um, unless you want to wait for the one that's coming out here in the States. But Severin, they do good work, but they take their time. And uh, I couldn't wait. So I just imported there you go. And there was only 4,000. They might be gone now. You might even be able to get one. So, eh. um, <laughs> but um, one of my favorite films from the period, it's a film, like I told you guys, I keep all my favorite movies on my phone. That's yeah. on my phone. So I, it's, I a, it's a great folk horror. It's not mm-hmm. Hammer. So I can't say this is one of my favorite Hammer films. It's but Tigan Inter Entertainment. But this is a a very good one. And, um, good. I'm glad you liked it. I'm glad we finally did it. I've loved yeah. this movie for a long time. Yeah. Um, Brought back memories. Shot them in the woodshed. <laughs> so, yeah, we got that. I think our podcast for the movie was longer than the movie. Okay. Once in a while that happens. No, the movie's an hour and a half long. Yeah. yeah so it's a long movie. Yeah, so... But, but so, so beautiful there you movie. go. Ho- hopefully you enjoyed it. Let us know what you think. Yeah. Watch down, it. And if you haven't below. seen it, seriously, watch it. You can oh, watch yeah. it free. Check it out. It's a, yeah, it's a cool it's movie. If you like Hammer, you like folk horror, kind of, you know. You know we, and we are starting to get some of The Witch, which I thought was okay. Not great, but okay. Yeah. And, and Midsummer, Midsummer, which I thought was fantastic. So maybe we'll get some more kind of like that. And Hereditary. And, and other, and hereditary and folk horror. And us. You know, we... Yeah. Sewer horror yeah. or something. <laughs> Sewer horror. <laughs> so there you go. Um... Join our Patreon. Yeah. Uh, check out the links. I think this entertainment's free. Like our Facebook page. Listen to us on iTunes. If you're listening to us on iTunes, Ted's just doing scissors right now. Uh, come over to YouTube and watch us ramble. I'll have to trim my pubes. But um, there you Oh, my God. <laughs> With that said. That could be a special Patreon video. One with that. If that doesn't motivate you to join, nothing will. Yeah, you, you get, you get, um, oh, for, yeah, we know. Oh! Uh, <laughs> oh! You get some, for, for a tear. Oh, that was a vein. <laughs> you, you'll get some, uh, pubes in, a, in an envelope. In an envelope. And oh, I'll send you some pizza rolls. And some pizza rolls, too, all smashed <laughs> up and cold. Send me a self-addressed stamp envelope, and I'll send you some pubes. <laughs> <laughs> a self-addressed stamp, and we'll send you a chain letter, too. Yeah. I worked really hard. Send it off to 50 people, please. (laughs) Okay, so yeah, until next week, guys. We still got another to record another show. Oh yeah, we got (laughs) we got tag video with Joe. So uh, yeah, later, guys. Later.